Today I fucked up by getting sober and deciding to go to a bar. For 10 years I was a heroin addict. Several times when I tried to get clean, I would drink alcohol and I would always go back to drugs. This time, I decided to get totally clean from everything and really give it a shot. I got out of detox and started going to AH meetings. After being in AH for about two months I started making some friends that were in the AH meetings with me. We were all pretty young and kind of still wanted to live the fun party life while at the same time, retaining our sobriety. So we all decide to go out to a bar. There I was, 60 days clean, in a bar with 200 people and riddled with an amount of anxiety that I would not wish on my worst enemy. My buddy and I started talking to a couple girls and I got the bright idea that I should go get them a couple drinks. I figured, hey that's what you do at a bar, right? Get a drink for a girl? As I walk back from the bar with two vodka sprites, I approach our newfound lady friends. And hash x200b. Hey I got a couple drinks for you guys. Here ya go. As I hand them to the girls they take the drinks and sort of look at each other uncomfortably. Ah, we don't take drinks from random people? Why don't you take them instead? I started feeling myself break out into a cold sweat. Oh no, I'm good. I am actually not drinking tonight, but don't worry, there's no drugs in them or anything, I swear. This was possibly the stupidest, most non-reassuring thing I could have said at the moment. It did not occur to me that I simply should have said that I was sober and didn't drink. The girls again, looked at me sideways. Um okay? Well at the very least take a sip of them so that you can prove to us that there's no drugs in them, she said as she puts the drinks back in my hands. I start to panic. Uh uh, I say and look around the bar. At this exact moment my buddy walks over and sees me with two drinks in my hand. He had told me that the way to go at a bar when you're sober is to hold a Sprite or Coke in your hand, so he walks over and grabs a drink and is about to take a sip. As he does this I set the other drink I had in my hand down and scream, no, and knock the drink out of his hand on the floor, as to not let him accidentally relapse on a sip of alcohol. Our two newfound lady friends gasped and jumped back with a wide-eyed look of horror I have never seen before in my life. They are at this point positive I had tried to drug them and just prevented my friend from ingesting said drugs. And hash x 200b. They sprinted out of the bar and into the darkness like two young ladies escaping their certain death. And hash x 200b. I think about this story now and laugh, a little over two years sober now. However, I remember going home that night and saying to myself, God am I going to be this awkward forever? Is this my life now? And hash x 200b. And hash x 200b. Too long did not read. Made girls think I was preventing them from being drugged at a bar. I'm a serial killer in warning stories that said girls surely tell their friends. Spoiler alert. I am. And yes, it is. Edit. Thank you for the gold. Star struck first place medal. I was so scared that was your relapse story. I'm glad it wasn't less than three. Actually, you accidentally reinforced these ladies' very good instincts, and they will never forget it. I mean did you ask them if they wanted the drinks first? So happy for you in your sobriety and helping your sober friend too. Keep it up man. I personally loved it when guys said, let me buy you a drink, and let me order, especially because it went from the bartender's hand straight to mine. Not sure if I ever accepted a drink from a stranger's hand, but I highly doubt it because spiking was rife in my area. If you don't feel like going over before the icebreaker, maybe tell the bartender you're sober and have them bring the girls drinks. Curb your enthusiasm theme intensifies. Today I fucked up by accidentally sending bikini pics to my college professor. This actually happened a few months ago, but the consequences are still unfolding, and it's been tough to process. I'm a college junior at a university in Southern California. A while back, I went on a trip to a nearby beach with my friends. It was a beautiful day, and we took a ton of photos, some of which were me in my bikini. I admit. Maybe striking a few rather provocative poses, just for fun. Dot but like you know just normal bikini photos mostly. Fast forward to the evening, and I was working on an assignment for one of my classes. I had some questions, so I decided to email my professor. I thought it'd be nice to attach some photos from the beach, showing what a lovely day it was and how it had helped me clear my head before diving into the assignment. Big mistake. In my haste, I accidentally attached a couple of those risque bikini photos instead of the innocent beach landscapes I intended to send. I only realized my error after hitting send, and my heart dropped. Panicking, 
I quickly sent a follow-up email apologizing for the mix-up and clarifying that I meant to send pictures of the beach scenery. My professor, however, did not respond. The next day, I discovered that he had reported the incident to the university administration. They called me in for a meeting, accusing me of trying to manipulate my grades using inappropriate means. I tried to explain that it was an honest mistake, but they didn't believe me. Instead, they launched a formal investigation and eventually decided to suspend me for a semester, tarnishing my academic record. Everybody tells me it was dumb to want to include beach photos anyways, and a lot of people don't believe me. Now, not only have I become the subject of gossip and rumors, but my future prospects have been jeopardized. I'm left grappling with the consequences of one simple, unintentional mistake. Always triple-check the attachments before hitting send, and maybe don't save scandalous pics on the same device you use for schoolwork. Too long did not read. Accidentally sent provocative bikini pics to my college professor instead of beach scenery photos. Ended up suspended and facing a bleak future because he reported it to the admins immediately. Double-check attachments and be careful with your photo storage. You'll be fine, don't worry. This won't ruin your life. But yeah, you really did not need to send beach pics. Accidentally. A quick check on her profile and it's def not a fuck up. We need to see the photos for context. Who attaches photos to show how the beach helped me clear my head? Either bullshit or you got caught. Today I fucked up by violating the school toilets. I deadass just had to call my dad to come pick me up from school because I am ill. I literally just blew up the toilet in the girls' washroom so bad I guarantee that anyone who dared to venture in there within half an hour of that nuclear shit has begun to develop several radiation-induced genetic mutations. I have never been so thoroughly humbled by my organs in my 17 years of existence, and the words to properly and accurately describe the sheer and utter betrayal I am experiencing as of this moment escape me. And I regret to say that the situation stated above pales in comparison to the remainder of this message. Be warned. This literature is not written to fall upon the mind of the faint of heart. Mere moments following the diabolical dookie which I permitted to lay waste upon the ever undeserving ceramics which we call, toilets, a young lass wandered unknowingly into my newly founded radioactive decay zone. The side eye which she laid upon me was all-encompassingly bombastic, as the molecules of my shit brushed her chemosensory neurons. I retreated to the gender-neutral bathroom back to where two of my friends were awaiting my imminent arrival, oblivious of the war crime I had just committed. As the pre-class time drew to its end, and I stepped out of the stall, still having not calmed myself from the horrific events prior, my gut-wrenching fear grew as my eyes caught hold of the same lass which had witnessed the crimes of my digestive issues. There she stood, once more bombarding me with that enveloping, bombastic side-eye. I fled. I am now home. I am still shaken from these events, and I do not think I shall ever truly recover. Too long did not read. I obliterated the toilets at school in a fashion I was unaware was possible. You think this is the worst shit, but many of us know that it's just the worst shit so far. It comes out of your bum like a bullet from a gun diarrhea diarrhea. Runs down your leg like a scrambled egg diarrhea diarrhea. It's not very funny but it's very hot and runny diarrhea diarrhea. Did you wash your hands? If it makes you feel better I worked at a successful chain of department stores and I clogged a toilet three days in a row before the out of order sign stayed on the door for a week. They had to replace the toilet and potions of the pipe in the wall. I took such a massive dump they had to replace the toilet. The way this was written was so cringe. Today I fucked up by agreeing to let my wife eat my foreskin. Using a throwaway account so that my wife doesn't find this and hash x200b. My, m32, wife, f27, has repeatedly voiced her desire for me to get circumcised ever since we first started dating. To give some background, I am raised secular Protestant while she is a German Catholic. After we got married two years ago, she became more persistent in voicing this desire. I had to adopt her religion as part of our matrimony this was a condition her family put on their blessing. There was an unvoiced expectation of circumcision already then, but of late she's become more vocal about it and claims it's what her family expects. The point where this gets strange, however, is when she started to suggest that she would also eat the cut-off foreskin. She claims that this is a Bavarian tradition, and that her family expects us to do it. I had previously agreed to go through with the circumcision, and while I thought it weird, 
I also saw no harm in letting her consume it afterwards so, once assured me that it was her genuine wish, I agreed. Now, however, I am having serious second thoughts about the whole thing. I love my wife, but this behavior is too weird for me. The thought of her eating something cut off from my body makes me nauseous. At the same time, I can't go back on my word. My wife was ecstatic about me agreeing and has been a lot more affectionate since. She also told her family about it, so the pressure is even greater now. Seems to me that I either have to file for divorce or let her munch on my man flesh. I don't know what to do. And hash x 200 b. Too long did not read. I agreed to let my wife eat my foreskin and now I can't get out of it. The fuck did I just read? Why does her family know the condition of your dingaling? This all sounds pretty messed up. Don't mutilate your junk man. Um WTF? You don't have to chop off a piece if your penis and you have a say in what does or is not done with the foreskin. You most certainly don't have to allow someone to eat it. This is one of the weirdest things I've ever heard. Are you sure you're not getting sucked into a cult? Are you sure it has religious motivations and isn't some fetish? Do you know for sure that your wife told her family about the consumption aspect? Bavarian tradition sounds a little sketch.